guys uh, now i explain you how to create a uh, bootable uh, usb drive using the aomei backupper standard so first open this program at this point i'll insert the flash drive i'll use this um, 64 gigabyte of uh, flash drive actually you don't need 64 gb you can use uh, 2 gb or even 4 gb flash drive to create a bootable disk using the backup R. after inserting the flash drive click utilities then go to create bootable media here you have two options you can create this bootable drive using linux interface or windows interface i'm going to uh, select the windows interface then click next then press next again and now you have to select the usb drive so this is my uh, usb drive now select this option usb boot device then click next so press yes and it is going to create the bootable usb drive now it is not going to take you a long time but only a few minutes maybe it will be ready soon so guys once you are ready uh, once the flash drive is made and the prerequisite is that you should have backed up that system drive using the this backup R and keep your uh, in your another partition of your hard drive okay so press ok no problem so what I was telling you, uh, you need to have the backup file to the same hard drive but in another partition. So after creating the boot device, the boot uh, USB drive, from here I will go to the computer where I would like to restore the system drive. So guys the boot usb drive is um, already created now click finish and cancel do not format this because the drive is already created so if you format the disk now it will be formatted and you will find nothing in your drive so just cancel it and close the program now uh, i came to the computer where i will be installing or i will be restoring the system image that i have created using the backup our standard so you can see i have selected the fast boot device as a usb drive that i created just before um, some uh, while and the second boot device is uh, the sata sm siget this is an ssd so now i'll insert the uh, usb boot drive and let me uh, save and restart You can see it is loading the files uh, it will take a while to load all the files because actually it will not uh, load the whole windows but it will load the uh, aomei backup or standard that files uh, that are uh, needed to uh, generate the interface to restore the system drive or the system file so you see the windows logo has popped up because uh, i uh, used the windows interface i did not use the linux interface so because i will be installing windows uh, so i did not use the linux interface so as you can see um, the back of our standard is loading it took a while i don't know why sometimes it comes very fast Guys, now you can see uh, the AOMEI backup has loaded through the uh, boot uh, USB drive. So now you need to go to restore. And from here, I have a system backup already. If it does not pop up here, you can select it from the path and select uh, which location you have the. Suppose for me, I saved the system drive here. Uh, and so I'll select this and I'll click open and I press uh, yes. So I select this and go to the next. 
it will show that there are two partitions these are the partitions and i'll do exactly what it says there is nothing to change now let's start restore i think it will take about uh, five minutes the one thing is uh, very important that when you restore your system using recovery drive it takes around two hours um, but here you can see uh, it is just copying the system drive to the main hard drive or the c drive so the speed is very high the speed is around 97 or 900 megabyte per second and it will take around uh, four minutes to complete so guys let us see uh, wait and see what happens after uh, completing the backup i hope the computer will start in uh, normal mode uh, so folks you can see 100 uh, percent uh, system restore is completed now let me press finish and the computer will restart computer has already started and the windows will start as usual so guys that's all thank you so much for watching the video Please uh, like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.